for the first time here. Mike Nugent, perfect this season as far as field goals are concerned. Chambers back deep for the Boilermakers. And with that wind, Nugent drives it completely out of the end zone. The positioning Chambers. Yeah, call the blitz a hurry now. He's got down inside of five seconds. And intercepted in the corner. Picked off Dustin by Fox. Dustin Fox. Yeah. I tell you, he misread it all the way Kyle Orton did on that one, Brent. Thought he had man-to-man -man coverage, checked into the corner route, and did not pick up that corner who dropped into the area. Ross, the running back, three wide. High ricochet intercepted at the 44-yard line. Could have been The middle linebacker with the ricochet interception, and Purdue is in business. It is a gimme against this breeze and with this Purdue kicking game this year. Oh, that was a good looking field goal. Lashevek puts the Boilermakers ahead by three. Oh, look at that. Just roped him. Nesfield, the junior from Houston, Texas, with the stop. It represents the difference. Now the wind, remember, is at his back here. This is a 36 yarder. Now that breeze has turned around a little bit though, as you can see on that wind graphic. No good. And they give Claret a fullback and an H-back, a power formation, and Claret just sort of Stutter step to Schweiger, number nine, the All-American from Saginaw, Michigan, moves up and makes the key stop on Claret. Save the one. Orton is 16 of 23 for 150 yards and spreading the ball around. Throwing well. Not that time. Intercepted at the 41-yard line. Wilhelm's second pick of the year. On third down. Out of timeouts, 19 seconds left. This is third down. Oh, scramble. Grant. And he's short of the first down. They got to hurry this unit on the field. This is fourth down. That was a very strange call. They're rushing. They've got three seconds. They've got to get it down for Nugent. They got to hurry. They signal good. Oh, and I'm boy. telling you, Purdue's on the field screaming. They are screaming. It looked like time had run out. Joe Tiller is livid. The Buckeye defense doing it here again. Doss creeping up like he wants to come on this one. They block it. They block it. Doss moved over, and the blocker went for him, and the man to his right came in and blocked the punt. Doss coming down hard from the left side. Meanwhile, it is Kirsch under center. Play fake roll to the right. Hey. Has great time. Wide open. Got him at the 43-yard line. Out of bounds at the 21 is Ray Williams, the freshman from Scotch Plains, New Jersey. His first reception of the day, and it's for 58 yards. Two defenders for Ohio State bumped into each other on the play. Watch the play right here. Fox bumps into his own man in the corner of field. Ray Williams wide open, throws the ball a pop-up, and you got a linebacker trying to cover the deep third for Ohio State. A complete bust for Ohio State, reminiscent of the touchdown pass Drew Brees threw to beat him last time they were here, quarterback. Ball is at the Buckeye four. Here is third down. Here it is. And Wilhelm is not full. Wilhelm throws him down at the 15 yard line. So certainly from here, Purdue will attempt the field goal. Well, at least 16 yard line. Don't hit him! Two will attempt of 32 yards. So you can watch from behind him. Washevic 
with the 32-yard attempt. It's gone! Slides it through, just inside the right upright. Four minutes, third down. First, from his own end zone, throws complete to the 10, but that's only a gain of about three yards, so Purdue is forced to punt. He's been here. But can they move against the Purdue defense? Doss in the middle of the field, now they're trying to come through again. Take it there, what a punt. Gamble from the 34, approaches midfield. And he is down at the 46-yard line. 14, and those precious seconds ticking down. Hartsock was open. It's the second time he's missed Hartsock coming across from his right to his left. He missed him high earlier, and that time he led him too much on the play. 226, and Trussell has to decide whether to risk punting the ball away in this situation if they don't get the first down. They have to get the ball all the way to the 36-yard line. He really missed Vance. Motion gamble. Comes up, fires wide open. Got most of it back. Just within a yard of a first down is Ben Hartsock. You almost have to go for it now. Now you're so close, you've got to go. Yes. And you can run for it if you want to. Problem is, you don't have your running back that makes these type of first downs. He's standing Krenzel behind is a you. very good runner in this situation. If they roll him, I have seen him come out for a huge first down up in Madison, Wisconsin. They're going to put him up underneath center, though. They're going to show the eye back behind the fullback here in fourth down. Could be up to the offensive line. No, Prinzel's going to throw for it. Got to get it off. They go for the ball game. Would you believe it? Craig Krenzel strikes with a minute and a half left. Holy Buckeye! A big time play as people said all year. At some time, Craig Krenzel would have to win a game. And on fourth and one, he goes 37 yards. Jenkins did it against Northwestern. He did it against Wisconsin. He did it against Penn State. He has come up with huge plays all year. Now but, they will use a timeout. But you're right though, Brent. It is Krenzel's play. Krenzel, everyone's doubted him. Could he win it? I said earlier in the year, sooner or later, number 15 is gonna have to win a game. And here Purdue blitzes thinking it's gotta be a run. And they throw to their big play receiver and watch Jenkins calmly Flip it to the official. The way to celebrate, young man. This is the way to end a huge play. And take a look at the man that Gary Daniels had just talked about. He's a junior from Tampa, Florida. He has just enough daylight on Rogers to make the catch. And the Buckeyes save themselves an undefeated season. They have to go for it, obviously. We move inside of a minute. Orton can't find the open man. Gonna go deep for the home run. Gamble's got it at the 10 yard line. Cross Gamble, the two way player, slashes across. And the Buckeyes are gonna head to Champaign, Illinois, unbeaten next week. Yeah. Unbelievable. Oh, what I said, ball player. He's a ball player. Saw that ball, timed it. Didn't knock this one down. He knew he'd go up there just like Wisconsin and seal the game for Ohio State. Let me just say, start going wild, Columbus. Start your party now, folks, because this one's long gone. The Buckeyes stay unbeaten, and they do it the hard way. Tressel trotting across the field, looking for his friend, Coach Tiller. There they are. 